Hello everyone, Stevie James here for Clockwork 9. Now we may not be standing desk experts, but we did review an uplift standing desk on our YouTube channel once, and it blew the f up. Since then, a whole bunch of different standing desk companies have reached out to us asking to do a review on one of their desks, and we've turned them all down. We're not gonna do anything short of an honest review, and it'd be a little silly to accept someone's desk just to crap all over it. But then Broden came along. We checked out their desks and thought they had a really solid product and at a good price point. So we agreed to review a couple of their desks, but we told them that we were gonna be 100% honest. And they were all for it. They said they stand behind their product, so here we are. We picked out two desks. One is a regular 54 by 24 inch desk with a walnut top and a black frame. This bad boy that I'm standing out now. The other is a 57 by 59 inch L desk with an oak top. This bad boy will replace my current L desk, a well overdue upgrade. I got this thing for like 150 bucks on Amazon a few years ago. The build process was very easy to follow. Packaging was neat and organized. And the instructions, very straightforward. The screws are all the same Allen key hole size, but they do come in two different lengths, which we kind of overlooked. So we had to do a little bit of backtracking to get that sorted out. Shane and Fitz built both the desks, so two people put them together. Really kind of one and a half because Fitz was doing a lot of shooting as well. But if you're an able-bodied person, we're very confident that you could put one of these desks together on your own. The regular desk took about 45 minutes to build and then the L desk just under an hour. No complaints there, pretty simple. I'm especially not gonna complain because I didn't help at all. Thanks boys. Now onto the features and the overall quality of the desk. And I gotta say, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I love the wooden finish and rounded edges. The legs are sleek and modern, along with the interface that allows you to adjust the height. In general, it's just a good minimalist design. One of my favorite parts of these desks is the outlet position in the top corner of the desk. This gives you two outlets and two USB ports that are always with you, whether you're standing, sitting, anywhere in between, ain't gotta mess with it. If I'm gonna be critical, I wish both these desks had a little more depth to them, but honestly, it's not a deal breaker, especially when you consider the price. The standing desk is perfect if you just have one monitor, and honestly, if you have two monitors, you can probably still make it work pretty easily as well. From a functionality standpoint, it's nice that the motors are built into the legs. When you're moving it up and down, yeah, you can hear the motor running, but overall, it's pretty smooth, pretty quiet, nothing too cumbersome. For all you tall people out there, Fitz stands at six foot four, and he has no problem being comfortable at the desk at its highest height, using it as a standing desk. Now, as a man of more humble height, such as myself, it's the same deal, whether I'm sitting, standing, anything in between, totally comfortable. With the L-Desk, you get three presets, which you can easily customize. So I set up my perfect sitting height, my perfect standing height, and then with the third preset, I set it to a level for when I'm on Zoom calls, my laptop can be just perfectly set up so the camera is a, a nice angle for me. So I got those three piece presets, I can go to them at any time and everything's good. The desks do have a fair amount of cables, which is to be expected, but they hook you up with some cable holders that are pretty easy to set up underneath the desk and it gets everything sorted out, organized, looks good. I made Shane do it, he nailed it, it was great. All right, time to really get critical. At standing height, you do get a bit of a wobble, but nothing too cumbersome or outrageous. I don't know how often you're gonna be shaking your desk like it's an earthquake. Really, honestly, there's not a lot to complain with these. If I'm gonna be picky, I don't love where the desks meet each other on the L desk due to the rounded corners. The seam is fine, but it'd be nice if these were flush. Far from a deal breaker though, barely an inconvenience. My last gripe is I can't put the desk flush to the wall due to the feet sticking out about an inch further than the desktop. Still not a deal breaker as they provide good stability and having a desk that moves up and down flush against the wall probably isn't advisable in the first place. So how do Broden's desk compare with some of the top sellers on Amazon? I went through the top listings when searching standing desks and found that Broden kind of takes the cake. This one from Fazebo is a little smaller and comes with a drawer, which I don't think I'd ever use. But the big drawback is the desktop comes in two pieces. So when you assemble it, you have a seam running through the middle of the desk. This for me is a deal breaker and is actually pretty common with most standing desks in this price range. It also doesn't have the outlets on top, which is gonna be another common theme. Most desks don't have these. So even at the cheaper price, I just don't think it's worth it. The Transit desk looks cool. It's bigger and has a second shelf, but for $400, it's not electric. Call me Mr. Fancy Pants, but I ain't dropping $400 on a desk. I got a hand crank like an Amishman. The Vari electric standing desk also looks really nice and it has a lot of surface options. It's also deeper than the Broden and has a solid top like the Broden does but it's more expensive and it doesn't have the desktop outlets. It's not a bad option, 
And if it was the same price, you'd have to maybe consider it, but with it being at a higher price point, I gotta give Broden the edge. Another one I'll mention is from SHW. It's about the same size and has four height presets, but again, I only use three. Like others, the tabletop comes in two pieces, so you gotta deal with the seam, yet again, and it doesn't have the outlets on top. If it were significantly cheaper than the Broden, I'd have to consider it, but it's only a little cheaper, so I think just spending that extra little money, it's gonna make it worth it to get the Broden. Looking at standing L desks, and I came to similar conclusions. This one from Vivo is solid, but doesn't have the outlets on the desktop, and the main complaint in the comments is that it was a pain in the ass to build. Also, it looks like it only comes in a black top, so you have a little less options there, and for a similar price as the Broden, I'm gonna have to go with the Broden again. And now the last one I wanna talk about is this L desk from the S Stand Up Desk Store. It looks really nice and it might be a good option too. It's actually really similar to our Broden in a lot of different ways, but it is flush where the two desks meet together rather than having the rounded corner issue that I mentioned earlier. However, there's no outlets on top and it's a bit more expensive and doesn't have a lot of reviews yet, so it's kinda, kinda tough to gauge. To wrap this up, we couldn't be more pleased with our Broden desk and we highly recommend them. They offer a one year warranty on the frame and any electric components, which is nice too. And in talking to them, they seem like genuine people who really care about their product. Are there fancier standing desks out there? For sure. If you wanna spend a good chunk of change, there's a million different options out there. You can check out the Uplift desk. I'll link to the video somewhere. You know how YouTube works. But if you're looking to keep things budget friendly, we believe Broden provides excellent value. I showed my desk to a friend and he immediately asked, where can I get one of those? And I told him, hey man, hold off till we can get a promo code, get you a little deal. With that being said, we got that promo code now. So if you want to go to BrodenUSA.com, you can use the promo code CLOCKWORK9, all one word, the number nine, to get $100 off your order. Or if you want to grab it on Amazon, you can hit the link in the description below the video. And while you're at it, like the video, subscribe, all that fun YouTuber stuff that you're supposed to say. And if you have a product or something you want us to check out, do a video on, hit us up. We're open to it. If it's a good product, we'll definitely, we'll definitely give it some consideration. We'd love to do it. See you guys next time.